1000% be doing a Christmas movie video, 1000%. I'm just waiting it to get a little bit closer to Christmas. I feel like that video is such a good idea. I kind of want to wait for it to get to a little bit closer to Christmas. So maybe on Monday or Tuesday, I'll post that video. It's going to be a very fun video, so make sure you look out for that, that one. But in tonight's video, we're going to be talking about my, 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 my all-time, I guess, favorite presents, presents that I can remember, presents that I gave out to my family members and friends and stuff like that, so kind of a, a very uh, warm, feel-good video about, you know, giving gifts and receiving gifts, and if you want to, comment down below maybe the, the, your favorite present you've ever gotten, maybe a present that you can just remember off the top of your head, or maybe your favorite present that you've given out to, again, a, a family member, a friend, or anything like that. Make sure you also obviously like the video if you do like the video. I think that's all I wanted to say. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, obviously. And uh, yeah, let us finally get started. Started, 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 started. Also, I probably should have mentioned uh, this is also going to be like a sort of like a, a whispered ramble, very uh, triggered oriented video. The first one is going to be basketball tapping, obviously. So. Let's see here. So we're going to be talking about Christmas presents, gifts, all that jazz, and really trying to sit here and remember my earliest memories of, of Christmas or even the Christmas time. One thing I can definitely um, really remember doing as a kid with having two older brothers was that, um, I don't know if you guys do this now with your families if you're, you know, younger on the younger side, but I know when I was growing up, my family wouldn't just, you know, come up and ask me what I would want for Christmas. My parents would give us uh, magazines or papers in the mail or stuff like that, and we would go through them, and we would just basically, you know, mark up and circle X through whatever what we'd want, and me being the youngest, I would always get the, the, the least cool paper first, so like obviously they'd give us like... I don't know, the, the, the electronics page of a Target or Doors RS, and then they'd give us like a Walmart one, and I would, be, I would, I would always be the one who'd get the least cool one, so I always wouldn't get the coolest pickings, but um, we would just go around and pass out them, pass them out, and we would just mark up and circle, you know, I don't know, a, a Game Boy SP, or I remember one year, my brothers wanted PSPs, but I wanted a DS, um, so we would just go through the, the little papers and circle the things that we would want. What other things would I do? Um, obviously being a kid and like not knowing, obviously back then, like Christmas can, can definitely get pretty expensive when there's a, a big family. So I would be circling, you know, a, a DS. I wanted a TV for my room with a movie player in it, which back in the day, having a TV that was also like a VHS set was very hard to find, actually. I remember... Disney had like these really cool Disney themed TVs that had a VHS player attached to them and I wanted one for my room for so long and for so long and I never got one. That thing was pretty depressing but um oh what else? I'm trying to think. Definitely the biggest thing when I was a kid growing up was I wanted a Game Boy Advanced Game Boy SP. I wanted one of I wanted a Game Boy so bad and um not to sort of ruin the story, but I never got one. <laughs> I never got a Game Boy SP. And it's funny how nowadays I don't even like necessarily want stuff like that anymore, which like I just said, I wanted like a TV. I wanted a game console. I wanted games. I wanted this. I wanted that. Obviously as a kid, um, I, I, I really wasn't super into toys when I was a kid. I was definitely more of a playing outside type of kid. Uh, we used to have like a lot of property and uh, obviously having two older brothers, we, we, we would have a lot of fun uh, out in our yard and uh, attached to our property was a, a woodsy area. So we would go outside, run around in the woods, pick up sticks, you know, pretend we're fighting zombies with them or I don't know, just run around and just be stupid, you know, as kids, which, you know, I was pretty surprised our parents let us do that. We would run around for literally hours just out in the woods, like a long ways away from home and I remember our mom to get our attention she would just whistle super duper loud and we would just come running home it was kind of a funny thing but so I was never really into toys my brother my oldest brother was really into toys so whenever like I wanted to play with toys like, he would add a bunch of like action figures 
original, yes, an original Xbox, the Xbox One, but not an Xbox One, but like the original Xbox. Uh, I think my dad bought it used, and uh, it was the coolest thing ever, and it was the first time, besides having, like, um, I don't know, a, 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 I think our first console we ever had was a Sega Genesis. That was the first console we ever used as kids, and that's fun, but we never really got super into gaming until we got um, the Xbox now. Uh, we did have a PlayStation 1, but that wasn't a Christmas present. I think my dad just came home with one one day. I can't remember. I don't think it was a Christmas present. I think my dad just decided to get one for us, and so we got one. But for Christmas, the Xbox, and that was when we got really into gaming. The PS1 was fun, but um, we never really played it a whole lot. Again, being a younger kid, we were more interested in like playing outside and blah, 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 but definitely more into our, you know, later kid, pre-teenage, you know, from like, I don't know, 8 to like 12, we were really into gaming, and like Xbox was the thing, and we had like a bunch of other like driving games and sports games and stuff like that, so we just have a bunch, a bunch of different stuff, and that was like when we first really got into gaming, so definitely the Xbox, and that was, that was a pretty crazy Christmas present, that's for sure, going a little bit further into the future, um, I'm gonna be chewing some gum now, I don't know if you guys are already tired of the basketball tapping, um, so we got that, again, when I was like, I don't know, like, eight, nine, ten years old, somewhere around there, and then again, what I was talking about before, for Christmas one year, when the PSP came out, uh, my brothers both wanted a PSP for Christmas, and obviously me being sort of the uh i don't know the odd one out in that whole scenario uh i didn't want a psp i wanted a ds and again it being sort of like my first personal my very own console even though it's not really a console but my first ever gaming system that i could have for myself and obviously the idea of me being able to like hide it from my parents when i'm like gaming at like a late hour of the night, like 11 or 10 p.m. was like so like cool sounding to me. And um, I was always super into like the Nintendo side for gaming, like Mario and all that jazz. I was super into like uh, all of like the classic Mario games and like Mario Kart for sure was like on the rage when I was in like, uh, like, like I don't know, like fourth, fifth, sixth grade, like Mario Kart was like a fake game to have and also like the Wii and stuff like that. So. Uh, which we didn't get, which also was kind of upsetting, but uh, getting Adidas was a really cool idea, and we ended up getting one, and that was a really cool pr uh, Christmas present as well. My brothers got their PSPs. They had the, they both got the same PSP, which is kind of funny. Um, they had the Star Wars Edition PSP, which came with, I think, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and then I had the red and black uh, DS Lite which brings me to another sort of a section of this little uh, whispered ramble. Um, did you ever sneak to take a peek at your Christmas presents? You can, you can fess up and tell me, because I'll tell you that I definitely did. It's starting to rain outside, if you can hear that. But um, once me and my brothers found where my parents would hide the Christmas presents, it, it was a GG. It was over. We would go there every single Christmas, and we would see where they would hide it. It was in the closet, and it was behind, like, where my dad would put his, like, really old coats, which he would, like, never wear ever, and they, they were behind the coats back there, and I saw my DS early. My brother saw their PSPs early, so, um, which sucks. I wish we didn't do that. Obviously, now, we thinking back to that time, but obviously, as a kid, you didn't know, um, and then also, um, growing up as, you know, having brothers, we'd always give each other, we would give each other gifts. We would just, I don't know, uh, walk through the mall and pick out stuff like, oh, that'd be cool to have, or that'd be cool to have, or I want this, I want that. And then our dad would, like, tell us to, like, I don't know, stay outside the store, or go get food, or stay here, or stay there, and he would buy us gifts for each other to give each other, uh, which is really nice. I am, obviously now I just get my brothers, like, their own gifts, obviously, but back then, that was really nice of, of my parents to, uh, to do that, to, like, let us give gifts for each other, and I think that's actually really important, too, to, like, have that process of, like, you know, giving gifts, receiving gifts, I find that to be, like, a really interesting thing, because otherwise, obviously, you know, our parents would just be like, hey, Santa, or whatever, we got you these gifts, and blah, 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 I think that's actually a really cool idea to do. Obviously, also being, um, very, um, mischievous boys, we would just, we would just tell each other, tell each other, uh, what we got each other for Christmas. We would do it a handful of Christmases. I remember all of us sitting in, I think, my brother's, my oldest brother's room, and just literally just telling each other, hey, I got you this for Christmas. Oh, I 
this and like oh my god that's so cool I can't wait blah 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 it's really funny and then Christmas morning the next morning we'd have to like act surprised that like oh whoa like this is so cool yada 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 you know what I mean all right so uh Xbox the original Xbox that's one uh Nintendo DS that's another very favorite Christmas present of mine fast forwarding a little bit further into my years uh I think this was like maybe my freshman year of high school or maybe late middle school uh, for Christmas. Uh, obviously then being more into sports, I remember telling you guys I didn't really get really into sports till about like 2010-ish. So uh, around that time, got really into sports and my mom actually got me really, 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 really like stupidly good tickets to a Blazer game. Now obviously, prices to, to any sporting event is super inflated so obviously they're probably not super crazy seats anymore but um and also portland sucked back in like the, the early 2010s portland was absolutely garbage even though they are now but uh back then they were garbage and cheap tickets so uh we sat oh my god they were really good seats i mean i remember thinking like if i could like yell really loud like my loudest if i could yell my loudest I bet the players could hear. They were like in like the, the, the 100 section, which I don't know, all stadiums are built differently, but I'll try to find like a picture of like where it, a general area that I was sitting at. And um, man, those were amazing seats. I can't remember who we were going against. I think my mom has like all like the pictures she took of like us going, but I remember it also being like a bad team. So again, like cheaper tickets, but man, I wish I could sit in seats like that again. They were so, so nice. Again, fast forwarding further down. Uh, I think this was 2016, like the end of the year of 2016. So like, yeah, the, 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 the winter after I graduated. So like, I must have been like out of high school for like a couple months. And then, you know, uh, during that Christmas, my dad had an idea for the longest time to go and visit our family for like the holidays and we actually did it one year so one year I had sort of like a, a, a Christmas vacation for a, a Christmas present and I was really sick we basically did all like our normal vacation stuff so like seeing our family um, going out to really nice dinners and all that stuff which was really nice but obviously like the, the real present was we got to go to uh, Disneyland during Christmas time which uh, if you guys don't know, I am a humongous Disney fan, like humongous, like I say this all the time when I ever bring it up, I'm probably just as into Disney as I am into basketball, and I obviously have a channel based more predominantly on basketball, so you can probably tell how into Disney I am, so being able to go to Disneyland during Christmas was just absolutely amazing, I'm going to start using a, a different trigger, I'm going to do uh, some of the, the, the Febreze, or your, I think this is Glade, I actually really liked it in one of my previous videos, like the shaking of it and stuff. I'm um, gonna be using that. Um, but yeah, Christmas, Disneyland, really, 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 really cool. Yeah, it was definitely a, a very different experience from any other time I've been to Disneyland, which I've been to Disneyland many, many, many times. And um, I highly recommend it if you're even slightly interested in Disney that you do it during a holiday like Christmas. Or I know for the 4th of July, they do really cool stuff for obviously Halloween, obviously Christmas and Christmas. Obviously Disneyland during Halloween is um, a, a, an experience in itself. I've done that a handful of times as well. I love going during Halloween as well. So um, it was really cool. So that was like a big gift that I got. We didn't really do like a Christmas uh, when we got back because obviously we did everything with our family down there in California. So, but yeah, really other than that, I don't really get gifts really anymore if I'm being completely honest. Uh, everything now is like money or uh, gift cards or things like that because obviously now uh, I can just get things when I want to get things um, like you know I just recently just bought my PS5 which like oh that would have been a cool Christmas present but like I already got a PS5 I already got a handful of other things I really wanted so now mostly it's like just money for Christmas or gift cards or smaller things uh, like last year my brother bought me uh, the what he gave me last year Oh my god, I don't even remember. I think he got me NBA 2K for the PS5. And then he, oh, he also got me uh, the Lakers um, championship shirt. The bubble championship. 
Christmas movie 